Hello everyone. Uh, it's Monday. It's quite nice. The weather's nice. Uh, there's a few clouds in the sky. There's little bits of blue, hints of blue. Very pleasant. Uh, as I look out towards my right, I'm facing a window so I can see directly. I can see the sky. I can see Dundee. There's a plume of smoke which looks like either somebody's building is burning or someone has set a sort of a, a coal fire that has gone badly awry. Uh, there's a few birds fluttering around. Yeah, nice day. Um, I'm going to take a little departure today from the whole, from the Dan McDraw list. It's a nice day. Uh, and I'm going to give, I'm going to try drawing Superman. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully you can see all right. Sorry about the wobble. I'm in two minds. If I want, do I want it to come out like that kind of cool Frank Miller style, or do I want it to be the more traditional, just hanging down his face? I think I'm going to go for the Frank Miller style, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see what works. I don't draw Superman that much, and the reason I don't draw him that much is because I like him too much. Uh, it's the same reason I don't draw Spider-Man that much either. I like them too much, and I'm always uh, that puts additional pressure on you. If a, you want to draw a character that you kind of like well enough to be interested in, but not so well that you're kind of frozen into <clears throat> abject terror. I'm thinking at some point of busting out my watercolour set and doing one or more of these in colour. Um, the problem with that is I'm not very good at it, so there's a possibility you're going to see me crash and burn and, and burst into tears. <laughs> oh well, never mind. Give 
in these nice little old school cuffs. And I'm also going to talk you through how I draw the S shield on his chest. So first of all, we draw this very this typical uh, shape. Now, what I like to do is I think that the correct way to do it is very straight, like that, as straight as you can possibly get it. But I like to add a little bit of fatness to the bottom curves here um, to make it a little bit more like the Christopher Reeve Superman. So the next, so once you've done that, the next stage is to turn it into a frame. So you draw an inner line, right? And there you go, so it's coming on. And then this is the really fiddly part, is the S. The S is a weird shape, so it's fat out here, comes in like that, goes up like that, a line there, right? Now this isn't gonna be exactly right. I'm, I don't think I've ever drawn Superman officially. I've drawn Bizarro officially for DC. So I've done this symbol, but inverted and kind of warped. But I've drawn it enough times for fun. And then this is also fat here. And then it curves around. And then you want a big blob there. Right? And... I think your official DC artist, your official Superman artist, would probably say, you know, you've missed out, you've done this bit wrong, or you've done that bit wrong. But if you work with this, you will get a good enough um, version of the uh, the S shield. We're all doing today. I should have given him a more dynamic pose now, I think, but never mind. Maybe next time. Right, that I think is it. Not bad. Looks all right. We'll do the face. I think I'm going to give him the classic Fleischer eyes. Maybe even go a bit nuts with that curl. Yeah, that's it. And a smile, why not? Maybe that's a bit OTT. <laughs> okay, there you go, that's fair. Too bad. Uh, the question I always ask myself is trunks or shorts? Darwin Cook used to draw him with trunks, and I always kind of liked that. Gives him that cool sort of peluca-ish, boxery quality. But I'm not sure it necessarily works with this picture. Sod it, I'm going with it. Classic looking Kal-El. Right, so I'm going to do my usual thing. I'm using the uh, Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen. I'm not being paid to promote these guys. They just are very good. Really nice line. Uh, a, li a permanent line. Well, 
not like a permanent marker, but it really it's Indian ink. Uh, India ink, I believe. It's um, yeah, it is. Look, Indian ink. I don't know if you can see that. No, probably not. Anyway, so let's go with that. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to do the S first. This is how you finish off the S. Basically, draw an outline around the red bits. should basically give you at least a workable version of the uh, shield. So tempted to give him sideburns. But this isn't the 1970s, so I'm not going to. Bit of a dimple there. Yeah, nice. I think I'm switching back to shorts. I think I've gone about as far as I can with the fine line. So, time to switch back to the trusty Pentel pocket brush. Yes, here we go.
do a nice smooth line this line like this I've had to re rotate the page there you go sometimes you have to do that can't be helped Now I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do the, back in the 90s there was a great animated show, great animated Superman show, and the cool thing they did was make his trunks kind of black, or at least kind of a dark red, so red is black, so I'm going to do that, so let's add a little shine here. Probably should have left it, but never mind. I think that's it. I think that's Superman. Yeah, not bad. That's cool. Looks friendly. Might do the S shield behind him as well. Might as well. I could completely botch this. <laughs> Never mind. Wish me luck. See, I can't help it. I immediately had to make the bottom edges <laughs> fat. <laughs> oh well. How are you doing today? You having a good day? You stuck in? You working? Watching the telly? Who would you cast as Superman? Any actor, living or dead. You can have Christopher Reeve if you want. He is great. For me, if they did a movie it would depend on the tone they went for, but if they did like kind of a light romantic comedy type Superman, I like back in the 50s, I would have cast James Garner. He's got the right look. He's got the right sensibility. Something like Gregory Peck, obviously, would have been great. If you wanted a more serious, perhaps slightly more austere Superman, Peck would be the guy. a little bit. Never mind.
I'm gonna try and carefully rub this out. Rub out the pencil, should I say. There you go. It's not right, but it's maybe right enough. some of these lines. Sometimes you'll find that when you rub out the, the pencil marks, what you're left with is a little bit too thin, a little bit too fragile and needs to be beefed up a tiny bit as we see here. And that's okay. I think that's it. I'll pop it away.